Stone Cold had himself incarcerated solely to protect Young Sir, who has now been freed, yet Stone Cold has to go back to prison. Don't, don't you have any sympathy for that ordeal? Yeah, Jason did an amazing thing. There's no one on Earth I would voluntarily go to prison for. Not even you, Spinelli, even though I love you. Yes, few people would make such a sacrifice, and it seems only fair that Stone Cold should be granted permanent freedom, but alas, it is not to be. It is unfair, but... Jason agreed to the temporary leave so he could catch Franco, and I know he's expecting your help. You you don't want to let him down, do you? Of course not. And, and it doesn't seem okay to give a serial killer extra time to stalk and kill and show up out of nowhere all creepy like Franco did the first time he was in Port Charles. I mean, who knows what he would have planned this time around. That's a point well taken. It's the thought of Stone Cold reincarcerated. It's awful, I know. Not as awful as Franco on the loose, so maybe the answer is to figure out a way for Jason to go on the run after Franco's caught. She's in there because Come of on. you. Come on. You should Molly have is here. Better. This is not appropriate. Like, you don't see her again. You stay okay, away from I, her. I would leave. I would. I... Christina made me promise that I would stay, and I told her that I would keep that promise. I'm sorry. Thanks for sitting with him, by the way. Yeah, of course. Christina's going to be fine. Okay. And I also checked Shirley's chart. She's stabilized and doing well. Great. And congratulations again on your brilliant surgery. Thank you. Here comes your partner in crime. Hey. Let me guess, you came back here to check on Shirley, too? Yeah, I was just telling Patrick. She's doing amazingly well. Oh, good. After what you two pulled off, I'm surprised you're not out celebrating. Oh, we were. We stopped by the Metro Court for a quick drink, and then um, I came back here. Patrick went home to check on Emma, and then he came back here, obviously. <laughs> well, now that I know that Shirley's okay, I'm going uh, to take off. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. I need a coffee. I'm going to grab one. Well, Christina has had a thorough checkup, and she came through with flying colors. Oh, thank God. No concussion, no, no internal damage? No, no. But I did order a CAT scan as a precaution. Her prognosis is excellent. Mom, can we see her? As soon as the test is done. And then she can come home, right? I don't see why not, honey. Well, Chrissy got really lucky. Yeah, she did. Will you keep an eye on her? I've got to go somewhere. I'll be right back. Something like that. Take care of it. All right, so forensics is wrapping up. They're taking what's left of Johnny Sakari's car. He's going to run with test. Look, I talked to the head of the forensics team. The preliminary reports point to this being a job for hire. The materials used were professional grade, but also easy to obtain and virtually untraceable. The Lopez brothers' M.O. Come on, Mac. Sonny's smart enough to leave those breadcrumbs down that path. I know you're looking for an excuse to take Sonny down. Yeah. Look, I've been there, and I would dearly love the airtight case that would send him away for good, but this isn't it. Hey, man, let me ask you something. What was that that what he said to you about uh, something about history? Sonny's first wife was killed by a car bomb meant for him. Given that he knew his daughter was seeing Johnny, I just don't see him tempting fate that way. Hmm. Christina almost died in a... What are you talking about? Johnny realized at the last moment what was going on, and he, he pulled Christina away. If he hadn't, she'd be dead. Uh, is she going to be okay? Thank God. No one can, can tie me to this, okay? If anybody knows I put that bomb in Johnny's car, I, I won't be able to see my daughter. Do you understand? Yes. No one is going to know, Mr. C. All right, look. The demolition guys back in Argentina, the setup points to the Lopez brothers who Johnny's been known to deal with. You need to get, you need to get yourself an alibi. Oh, and we, down the line, we need to get one of the Lopez brothers to take the fall for this. I got it. Long enough. I heard what you did, Dad. 